Good day everyone! These lifeless trees at my back never claim death since the diary maker plants arrive. And there's still one tree that stands and survives. And it is over there. Welcome to Ken Plants Diaries. If you're new to this channel, don't forget to click subscribe and hit the bell icon for you to be notified in a new video that I'm going to upload in my channel, Ken Plants Diaries. It might be too early to feature his garden, but I am so thankful that he said yes and I'm going to visit him with this content. And so today I am so glad to have a talk with this certified computer and he has also his own blog about plants. Join me as we talk about plants and his anecdotal and interesting stories about his planting. You want to visit my garden? Come and visit my mini sanctuary garden. So this is my finale arrangement. You can look the different varieties of plants. Whatever you want, you can find here. Yes. <laughs> So I came, I came to a beautiful and purposeful idea. I cemented the... Ay na, ako na mag-question saan. Ay na, sa iyo na. <laughs> when, did, when did you start gardening? In the year 2019, that was a pandemic period. But long before, I had already planted several types of plants in our home. I recall the purpose of my life. So I go back to gardening. What concept did you apply in your gardening? The first concept that I applied in my gardening is the two-way leveling of concrete base. What varieties did you collect? The first variety that I collected here in my garden is the Sansevieria. We call it snake plants. It is that is easy to grow. I'm done. I'm fine. I, what are varieties? What varieties? So, magtikadig da ego philodendron and akalatea. <clears throat> when I watched the Fong Soy guidelines, that aglonima plant is a money maker plant, especially when you own. I collected philodendrons, including also the kalatea varieties. That is why I have a lot of kalatea types here in my garden as you can see. Uh, Ficus elastica varieties. That is why I have it all. When you buy this plant, have you not considered the price? Is it too expensive or not? You're not thinking anymore the price. Yeah, isn't it? I'm always thinking about the, the price of the philodendron. You know how costly our living in this world. However, you managed to collect this pricey philodendron. Among of these philodendrons, what's your favorite aside from considering the price itself? You know what? I love the color of black because people don't know that black symbolizes wealth. That is why my favorite uh, philodendron is black cardinal. Black cardinal is in yeah. your garden. Yes, I have this one in the year 2020. 2020. Between Black Cardinal and this Royal, Royal Queen, Queen, which will you give to me? <laughs> <laughs> I can give it both <laughs> as long as you can take care of it. Do you think your outfit for today fits to the arrangement of this plan? <laughs> if you become, if you become, shall we say, rich, yes, <laughs> you can buy this kind of outfit. It's really cool and I woke up like this. <laughs> Is it required that your outfit should be presentable when you're doing gardening? No, it depends upon on you. If you're doing the propagation, then that's the, the outfit that you're feeling in a day. So that's good as long as you're comfortable for it. If given the chance to give your plants to someone whom you did not know or met, or shall we say the stranger, what plant would you give? It would be the Sansevieria. That is also one of the lucky plants. Which do you think of these plants give you luck? I, I do believe in the Aglonima. Why in Aglonima? Because Aglonima, according to the book of Pong Soy, this is a money maker plant based on the color. In Chinese, if 
the color of the plant is red and that is very good feng shui for the the owner and the pe and also to the home where people are living online reported cases of this Diffenbachia I observed that you're collecting it are you not afraid that someday this Diffenbachia will harm you I'm not afraid because the <laughs> planter knows how to take and care of the plants and I have also my personal journal I keep on writing the different names of the plants including also the the does and don'ts in taking care of the plants if you know that Diphenbachia the reason on the stem can harm you then there is no point of interest that you are going also to propagate that one or swallow the reason or something you are going to intentionally put it in the food